What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 mod review, and today we're going to be taking a look at some Chevy trucks and a GMC tow truck. Up first, we have a 1984 Chevy 1-ton truck. This thing looks very nice, does have some nice wheels on it, it's a really nice looking grill, and it does have the old style tow mirrors, which I really do like. It is a crew cab, and it does have a flap. It looks like there is no hitch but there could be one so we'll hop in this this has a top speed of 152 miles per hour very fast it does not seem to have working lights in the back but in the front it does have the older lights which means you need to update those on the interior view not the best but it still does have a nice view if you guys would like to use that now this thing seems to handle pretty decently which is pretty nice but I really just like having some older trucks like this around the farm it's just pretty cool to have one but this thing drives very nicely and it's pretty nice for an old truck like this so up next we're gonna be looking at a cool truck but I hope you guys are having a great day today let me know how yours is going down below and uh, let me know down below also what types of videos you guys would like me to do with these mods so we're going to pull over here and we are going to take a look at a 2002 Chevy plow truck. There was a similar version released before, but this one has a uh, sander that actually works. So we're going to be taking a look at that, but they did change the color from, I believe, dark red to white. And uh, has that. Does have beacon lights up there, so we're going to hop in. Does have a top speed of 70 miles per hour. All the lights do work, and the sander is a boss sander very very cool take a look at that the wheels look nice Chevy wheels pretty nice for a 2002 truck and it does have some nice beacons on the top and it looks like there's like a light bar in the back there but it looks like that is not working which is fine so you do need to get the rock salt palette and this is a mod pack that you do need to extract this is found in the pallet section and this is salt so you need to drive your truck next to the salt and uh, start to fill it up. And I did also get a few comments, am I on, on PC? Yes, I'm on PC. I am using an Xbox controller. But take a look guys, we are filling this up. We aren't going to fill it up all the way. But let's see how it works. So look at that guys. Whoa, we got a working sander here. Pretty nice. I actually really do like this uh, pickup truck small sander you could still use your bed for anything you want it does have a pretty nice widespread so this is a great plow truck i really do recommend it i'm very excited that we have it and i think i'm going to be adding it to our plow fleet, fleet very soon but this overall just is awesome so up next we are taking a look at a gmc flatbed wrecker this i believe was converted did get a lot of updates from FS15 it does have a very nice LED light bar and it did switch from a dual axle in the back if you would say to a single but this tow bar works you could actually attach to it I think we might attach to any of them here but we are going to start this up this has a top speed of 64 miles per hour the bed rolls back like this everything works the tow bar actually you go out and I believe if I switch over here you can attach pressing Z everything will work it extends past it just that the the, uh, the bed has to be all the way back like that and then this goes all the way down and the bed will go back let's see if we could get this pretty challenging learning all these controls but definitely a very nice looking truck look at that guys so we got it rolled back that is how you get up on it very nicely done take a look at the LED Let's uh, take a look at the strobes. Look at those awesome strobes with the beacon light. So we are going to put this in. And uh, we are definitely going to hook up to that trailer. Now the interior is white view. Not really too detailed, but it still does have a very nice first person. And this truck handles very well, which is awesome. And does have all the working lights. If we go to the front, it does have a have some awesome lights overall a great job so we are going to attach to a small utility trailer now we are just going to put the ramps down let's see to put the ramps down it's keypad 9 
And do the ramps stay down? Nope, you have to be in the truck the entire time the ramps are going down. But I think that this is a small, pretty nice utility trailer, if I would say. It does have room here for maybe an extra attachment for a skid steer. Or even if the skid steer is really large, you could put it here. Or some gas tanks for when you're mowing. But this thing looks pretty cool. It is small, but I think that this is a good... uh. ATV trailer anything like that since it's low to the ground and uh, overall These are some great mods. So let me know down below what types of videos you guys would like me to do with these Thanks for watching and subscribe for more